This is a quick tutorial for Blender Cycles rendering of realistic wood, uh, either like a flat mat or a glossy wood. I'm going to use this texture right here, which you could find in my textures category on my website. I'll throw the link in the description, or just search for one on the web. This is a seamless texture. Um, first, I'm going to get rid of the cube, and we'll put the monkey in there. And let's finish set scene here. Just gonna grab a quick decent view. Now we're gonna set this for cycles render. So now I'm gonna go into my lamp use nodes. I'll set this for about 700 since it's so close. And my monkey, I want to make a little more smooth, so I'm just going to subdivide by 2 and set to smooth. Go into my render view, and I should be good to go with the material. So what I'm going to do is open up a second area where I'm going to unwrap my texture UV. So we'll change this to UV image editor. I'm going to edit mode and press U on your keyboard. Sphere projection. I don't know. You could you could unwrap it just regular. I like the sphere projection the way it comes out. I'm going to size this down a little bit so it fits. I'm using S as a hotkey to size, G as a hotkey to move. I'm going to go back into edit mode. It doesn't really matter you can, since it's in render view. I'm going to open this up down here. Go to my nodes editor. Oops. And then, with the monkey selected, we're going to go into our materials. Add new material. Then down here in our node editor, we have diffuse BSDF and material output. So what we're going to do is material output is going to be our end result. Diffuse BF BSDF is going to be kind of like our, our flat shader. Now, we're going to want to do an input like a texture coordinate. So we're going to add the input texture coordinates because we're going to pull from our UV and then we're going to want to map the vector. So we will add vector mapping. We're going to go UV to vector. And then on these settings I think we can probably move the scale to like 2.5. Then in between our diffuse, we want to put a texture, which is going to be our wood texture we're going to add in. So I'm going to go to texture, image texture. And we're going to run our vector to it vector to vector. Ah. If I could just get it to connect here. There we go. Now I want to open my image texture. Now from here, I'm going to go my color to color. And we have a basic wood, and we're going to clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to add a Fresnel. Fresnel is under the input. And 
then to combine our Fresnel and our diffuse to our material output, we want to put in a mix shader. So add shader, mix shader. We're going to put this in the middle. So we got our BSDF going to shader. We want our FAC going to FAC. Then we have our shader going to surface. And this looks pretty good here with our rendered view. But what if I want to make it glossy? So what we can do to do that, let's go to shader, glossy. And I'm going to set the roughness on this to 0.025. Probably better off typing it in. And then we're going to put this into our other shader for the mix shader, which gives us a nice glossy view. So, to see a good end result, I'm going to go to my render settings. I like to pick HD 1080p. And just set the sample plane to like 36. And hit render. And as you can see, we came out with a nice looking wood texture, the glossy finish. And you can just leave the glossy off if you want the diffuse. And there you go. Happy blending. See you next time.